One. I'm standing here with. Okay, tell all stars Michael O'Mara, Seth Kreisworth, Larry Hampton, Jeffrey Bryan, Brian Paulson, Deborah. Hey. No, anyway. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> um, we, you are being inducted tonight, and what an honor. And for you to be a part of this, how does it feel to be inducted into the California Music Hall? It's surreal. I mean, we, we feel like, you know, it's, it's an amazing honor, obviously, to be recognized for you know, the dedication and the hard work we put in to keep the music of the 70s alive. We're a tribute band of the 70s. And, the uh, 70s. Yeah, you know, it's some of the ma most amazing music of all time. And there's a lot of those nuggets in there that, uh, you know, may not merit a, a tribute band of, to itself, but we kind of feel that we were a tribute to the 70s, the whole era. And so, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a great thing to be, like I say, recognized for that and to be honored. I mean, we're really privileged to be here. I am so happy to be here also with you guys. Um, how important do you feel that music is in school? Uh, in school? Oh. Uh, this is the thing that, you know, young people, I mean, there's something that's so communal about music, right? There's something that draws us, I mean, what we, we talk about when we were little kids. Now, uh, at that time, you know, there were just a few radio stations, and so I could be in Torrance, and, and you know, Mike could be in Huntington Beach, right. and, you know, Stairway to Heaven would come on, and we'd be having that same experience together, right. even though we were 50 miles apart, or 30 right. miles apart. And so when we get together now as adults, even though we grew up in different neighborhoods, we feel like, we know each other. There's some. There's some. Yeah. There's some thing we have in common, yeah. and there's some connection, even if we we haven't known since we were a little little boys, you know, or whatever. And so, um, you know, I think that that is a really powerful thing. I think that we're a very communal people, and that we look for uh, people of like mind to get together with and to share experiences with. And when you can share a, a, a happy experience, like this concert, we we tend to play mostly happy songs. Uh, people walk away and they're just, you know, just beaming. So, yeah, uh, they're super, in a good mood. super important to get the kids early, though, because um, that's when they catch the buzz, you know, and it, not just about performance, but about connecting, you know. Yeah, absolutely. What would you like your legacy, how would you like your legacy to evolve? Well, we, that's a great question. I think, ultimately, I, I love the fact, the very, very first show that we did, a person came in and saw us, and, and they, they left a comment. It was a really long comment, but one line stuck out. He said, they're the feel-good band of the year. And oh. I loved that because I felt like that if we could leave anybody something, that they walk away feeling good, like that they, they felt like I loved what they did. And I loved, not just because of them, I loved that music, I loved that environment, I loved that vibe, you know? And so I think, you know, just to be able to um, keep these amazing songs alive in the, in the public consciousness is really important. And um, I think if we can achieve that goal where we come out and we're tonight we're gonna play Brandy and I think I love you and, oh, and um, you know, and just and just have it so that people, young people um, can catch the, 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 the love of that and, and how s simple and beautiful and joyful those songs were. So I hope that we can do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for thank taking you. this time yeah, and enjoy this wonderful night. It's an honor. Yeah, thank it's you. So well deserved. We're, we're really thank you. privileged. We really are honored. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks. And.